All right, friends, we are going to do another reaction video. We are going to do Prince live on Jay Leno. Okay, I've not watched this. Uh, a number of people have suggested this to me. So we're just going to, let's just jump in and check it out. For a second there, I thought he was breaking into I Will Follow from YouTube. <laughs> Hit a pedal, now we have that flange effect that I was talking about in another video. He has a really cool way of using it. He's got the strat happening. Isn't that groove he's playing while he's singing? Again, when people can do vocals with some of the stuff they can do, it's pretty amazing. That's pretty cool. Uh, who's playing drums here, guys? One of the things I want to say about Prince too, because I've seen him now with different formats of like other musicians playing in his band. He's extremely adaptable. Uh, some people get used to playing in a certain format and they need to have that. I, you know, I think someone mentioned in the comments that like there's gigs of, you know, he's sat down at a piano and sang and played piano. Uh, he just seems really good at adapting to whatever um, formation he wants for a certain gig or situation. Um, it's pretty cool. That's another thing that's uh, really cool about him. He's playing there, he threw in some really, um, uh, really great licks. Uh, one of the licks run wine reminded me a little bit about uh, the song All Right Now from Free. Uh, great pentatonic phrasing, but one of the things he does too that I don't know if people talk about is when he's soloing, there's still groove, you know. I've never been the best funk kind of guitar player. I've, I'm open and honest about that. Uh, but he's always, there's always groove when he's playing his leads. It's pretty cool. Well, that Prince, we know he's a great guitar player. The other thing I want to point out to you guys is that uh, Pure Balls. So he's a, he's a front man, he's a very talented guitar player, but a lot of people that do that, they also have a, a, a very accomplished guitar player beside them 
backing them up while they're playing and singing. Uh, we watched a reaction video to uh, uh, when he played with the women in Denmark, uh, Third Eye Girl. He had a really great guitar player uh, playing with him. Uh, as I said, I did a reaction video that I wasn't able to upload for Amer uh, America uh, 1985, and he had a really good guitar player with him there too. A little bit of research on her. Her name was uh, Wendy, uh, something or other. But she was a great rhythm player, had some great groove happening, and a great stage presence. But uh, he's just like, dude, give me the guitar, let me do it. I don't need another guitar player there tonight. He's just so adaptable. This is another thing I don't know if we've ever talked about, but he's very, very adaptable. It'd be interesting playing in his band because he, he, he would have a fantastic ear. So if you made a mistake, you, you know, he, you probably couldn't get anything by him trying to cover it up. Uh, very interesting. The uh, so he has a wah pedal happening. Remember that other song? Uh, I said, I think he has a whammy pedal. Uh, it might have been The Undertaker. Uh, not 100% sure. Look right beside there. Look right beside. That is a whammy pedal, friends. Told you. But again, his setup is relatively simple. Uh, it looks like he has a channel changer. He's got a wah, a whammy pedal, another unit. It's probably a delay unit of some sort. And he's got a few pedals on the other side. But his solos, the licks, they fit the song. A really good guitar solo tends to tell a story within a story. And uh, it's really cool. I'm really enjoying it. This is one of my favorite videos so far. Performances. throw something really interesting at you guys. Okay, this is coming from a guitar player. Uh, Steve Vai and Joe Satriani, for anyone who is in the guitar, has any idea about the guitar world, know that they're considered two of the top guitar players. And they always had a big concert called the G3 Tour, where Steve Vai and his band, Joe Satriani and his band, and then they would always bring out another really famous guitar player or really good guitar player to do the concert with them. You know, it'd be different people over the years. John Petrucci from Dream Theater, one year, Eric Johnson, Ingve Momstein, that type of thing. It would have been pretty cool if they would have brought Prince. And then at the end, they do a big jam to have Prince out there jamming with them too. Like, a, I, I think coming from that real guitar world, I think a lot of us in that guitar world, we just didn't understand about Prince being this proficient on the instrument. We, we really didn't. That would have been cool, a G3 with Prince on the bill. Guys, I love that. That was one of my most favorite performances from Prince. A different arrangement. He was the only guitar player. Uh, just, it was awesome. Just 
seeing up close his effects pedal, his playing. Um, I mean, the dude can sing, but there's always groove. You know, and he didn't throw licks out there just for the sake of just saying, look at me. Blah, blah, blah. He, <laughs> he threw licks out there, but they still fit the song and they still fit the story of what he was doing. And they also had groove. I really enjoyed that. It was great. I, I don't know what more uh, to say about it. It was awesome. I really enjoyed that one. And he could just seem to fit in any arrangement of musicians to perform. It's really cool. And I knew he was using a whammy pedal. And there you go. But uh, I, I don't, I, it was great, guys. I, I'm really enjoying this. Well, you guys call it a trip down the rabbit hole. But I'm really enjoying this about Prince. I, I just, coming from that guitar world, I did not know or realize that how proficient he was. I knew, you know, like, I, I'm, I still try and take time and think back. And I, you know, I kind of remember when Purple Rain came out. And I remember him doing something with a wah pedal. I knew he had ability, but I just didn't, I just didn't know. You know, like, uh, that is probably one of my favorites so far. So guys, again, I appreciate every one of you taking the time to watch these videos. We've really connected. Uh, I appreciate your comments. You guys are educating me more. Again, I hate asking this of people because it really bugs me when I go to a YouTube channel and they go on and on about, but just take a second, click the subscribe button. It'd really be nice to get to a thousand subscribers uh, and we're making good progress. So guys, it was great. More comments, more suggestions. Love it. Remember, practice hard, practice smart, and we'll see you soon.